Hello and welcome to Smooth Fusion Sitefinity tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the Sitefinity out of the box blog feature. Now there are six components to the blogs feature. You have the module, you have the blog posts, you have the blog landing page, blog details page, blog widget, and blog post widget. So first we're going to go into the blogs module. Beneath the content tab is where the blogs module lives. When you open the blogs module, if you have existing blogs or if you do not have any blogs, they will show here. If you need to create a blog, you can create a blog by clicking create a blog. If you need to modify a blog, you can go into titles and properties. Both create a blog and titles and properties take you to the same view. And in this view, you can modify the blog title, blog URL, and additional URLs. Now one differentiating factor between blogs and blog posts are that posts live within the blogs. So this enables content editors to create multiple blogs on their site and then organize those posts according to the blog. So we've already have a post here existing, but you can create a post here. Either way, it will take you to the same view. And in this view, you can control the blog title, the blog content body, which is a rich text editor, the summary of that blog, which shows with the blog post on the blog landing page. And beneath this is the categories and tags. And this allows you to organize blog posts by blog titles or categories and tag those blog posts by topics so that you can create front end organization and search features for users. And then more options, you have the ability to control the URL for the blog and by blog post and by default, the blog post URL is the blog title. You can add additional URLs here and you can enable and disable contents for users. So now that we've created our blog, we're going to go ahead and publish it. And now that it's created, you can see that the blog post appears here beneath the blog and you can go in and drill down into other blogs that you've created in the same fashion. But now that you have created your blog and you've created your blog post, you need to create your blog page and your blog post page. The blog page is the blog landing page where you show all of the different blogs and all of the different blog posts that a user might be able to drill into those. So I mentioned that there are two widgets. There is a blogs widget and the blog post widget. In this demo site, we do not have the blogs widget themed, but for the sake of example, you can see here that it shows the three blogs that do exist. And if you have a landing page where you have multiple blogs, you might use this with thumbnail images or something along those lines to give users an overview of all of the blog posts you have on your site. So to edit the blogs widget, you, op you click edit, it opens the widget designer and you have the ability to show all blogs, selected blogs, blogs with more than X posts and only blogs with posts no older than X months. And you can go in and organize those. So list settings, so use paging, use limit, so pagination, or do you just want a, a long list of blog posts or you have a or blogs and then you have no limit or pagination and so this allows you to just have one long unlimited list of blogs that you've created you can sort the blogs by the published date the modified date and title or manually and next you have your blog template and since this site does not have a theme this blog list template does not actually apply any themes here on this demo site but you may have those set up for your website Next, we have our single item settings. So what happens when a user clicks the blog title? They can be taken to a to different page or you can have that blog landing page load into this blogs page dynamically. Next, you have your detail template and this is how the users are shown the blog once they click the blog on that landing page that you selected here. So we'll click save. And next we have our blog posts widget and this widget is what shows the individual blog posts that you want to show whether it's from an, a single blog or from all of the blogs and the widget designer is very similar to the blogs widget designer that allows you to select which blogs you want to show posts from and the ability to filter within that whether it's all published or only selected blog posts. Next, you have your list settings and whether it's paginated or just a long list. 
you can control how it's organized and then if you have existing templates you would select those here and next we have our single item settings where you can select whether the article is shown on the page that you're on or if you direct the user to another page which in this example we have a blog post page created and a template that you that is applied to those blog posts once they are loaded on that page so we will click save and in this example they are using the blog posts widget to show all of their posts and not differentiating between just blogs. So once we publish our page, we can then navigate to the blog post page in which the blog posts are displayed on. And this is the page that blog posts are dynamically loaded on. So users don't actually hit this page, the blog post page, but instead it is appended with the blog post URL here. And I will show you that in a moment. But this widget is configured similarly to the other blog page like with one exception and that is the application of a template as well as the auto generated page so the auto auto generated page dynamically loads that post within to this page we can click save and we will publish that and when we navigate to the front end of the blog page You can see that the blogs are listed here at the top and beneath it with the blog post widget, you can see the list of all of the blog posts that are published here. So if we click into one of these posts, it will take us to the blog post page, which you can see is loaded into the blog post page and is a URL is appended with the blog title and the blog post title and date. And so you have your title, you have your publication meta information, you have your content body and you have your comments below. And that is Sitefinity's out of the box blog feature. For more Sitefinity tips and tricks, follow our channel and don't forget to follow us on Twitter. Um.